is up, Mappers? Welcome back to uh, a very exciting episode. I'm so jacked for this one, especially. A lot of you might know from looking at the title and description of the video, but let me show you guys something that I just got in the mail yesterday. Check this out. They're here. They're finally here. The Melican Fishing Rod Series. I'm so freaking jacked to talk to you guys about these. That's what we're doing in today's video. I'm gonna show you all these rods we've been waiting on for so long. You guys have been so excited about them. We have them out in a limited quantity now at sixcentsfishing.com. Start at the beginning. Way back when I started fishing, I learned very, very early that the rod action, length, power, type of line I was using had a giant impact on the amount of fish I was catching and getting to the shore at that point. Flash forward 25 years later, you know, 15 years of tournament fishing, fishing as much as I possibly can every single minute for bass, walleye, catfish, everything. Um, and then the last couple years fishing almost every single day. I have created my very own rod series. Not just any rod series, we created a series of seven rods through, in my opinion, the most badass company in the entire fishing industry. I don't even know what to say. I'm speechless. I'm so freaking excited to show these rods to you guys and talk about them. Let me talk to you a little bit about all of them, um, what we did with the rod series, and we're going to take them on the water and explain each specific model. So about two years ago, Casey, the owner of Six Sense Fishing, came to me. He said, Ben, you're using the Lux Series rods. They're 170 bucks, but why don't you design your own series of rods um, that, that you can have your fingerprint on every single thing, every specific feature of the rod to help you go out and catch more fish because you've done a great job for our company and I know you have a lot of expertise in this stuff and we want one at a different price point. I said, that's perfect. That's exactly what I want. So I set out on a main focus to, to make these rods in this rod series for very specific lengths, actions, and powers. So one, most importantly, they're very, very versatile. Two, they're gonna help you get more fish to the boat. Uh, and, and three, they're gonna be very, very durable. They're gonna last you a very long time because if you're spending $100 on a rod, you don't want it to be breaking, obviously. The biggest thing to me is when I pick up a rod and I go out to the lake, whether I'm fishing on the boat, I'm bank fishing, I'm crappie fishing, I'm cat fishing, I go fish with porn stash or go fish a tournament in Zark's boat, I don't want one rod that can only be used for one technique because that does me no good. I'm constantly changing baits, presentations, and everything, and even swapping reels, putting braid on it, fluorocarbon, stuff like that. I wanted a rod series that is gonna work for a wide variety of applications. Casey didn't give me a limit on a number of rods, but we came out with seven rods. That's the, that's the number we landed on. Where there's a couple tiny, tiny holes in, in the rod series, but with those seven rods, you can use it for a wide variety of different techniques. We're gonna take a look at these though. First one, out the box, your first thing you're gonna notice, they all come in this rod sleeve right here. I think it's badass. Comes with the Melican Fishing logo, Melican Series rods, has the exact length, action, power. Six Sense logo right there. Let's open it. So you're gonna notice on this one, we actually have two different handle styles. This one is a split grip. They're all gonna be EVA handles. No foregrip on any of these rods right here. Beautiful bluish green. I, I decided to do like a little color transition. Of course, the MF for logo six cents. Everyone's gonna have the exact power and specifications on it and everything, of course. Um, but these are all on an IM7 Japanese blank. Very, very strong, powerful blank, like I said. They're gonna be very, very durable for you guys. If they're not, if something should happen, they are backed by a one-year warranty. Uh, and then we, we upgraded the guides. Um, we put Fuji guides on these. That added some time. Um, we, we wanted these to be really, really high quality guides. As you guys watch my videos, you understand. I'm hard on my gear, so it's important to have these really high grade guides on them. Um, very, very important to me. Really high grade inserts. So you can, you can be hard on them, hard on your stuff like I am. Let me show you the models we got and then let's take them out on the water. And we're gonna catch them. First one, the all around rod, seven foot, medium heavy, fast bait casting rod. Next one, seven foot two, medium heavy, moderate, fast, all around crankbait rod. This one is a bait casting, full handle, full grip. We'll talk about on the water why I decided to put full grip on three of these rods. Seven foot four, heavy, fast action, the Zark Special. Seven foot five, extra heavy, fast action, split grip, bait casting rod. This one's the Heavy Frog Special. Seven foot seven, heavy, fast action, Full grip rod, this is gonna flip them up. I'm extra jack for this one. Seven foot nine, extra heavy. This is a fast action swim bait special rod. One of the best swim bait rods I've ever used in my life, except cheaper. Last and least, 
the six foot 10 medium, moderate fast spinning rod, split grip, the fairy wand. All right guys, let's get all seven of these rods rigged up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tie all different types of baits on these. We're gonna take them out to this beautiful lake right back here behind us. I'm gonna explain to you exactly why I picked the length, action, power of each one of these so you guys can better decide which ones you wanna go out and purchase, which by the way, they are available, like I said, sixcentsfishing.com. Very limited quantity for this first batch. A lot of you guys have been waiting on them, so I would strongly recommend getting out there and uh, picking them up. $119, every rod in the series is $119.99. With the promo code MF10, they're a little bit over $100. So as good of a rod as I could possibly come up with, as strong, as sensitive, as powerful, as dialed on the actions as I come up with. Um, I'm so jacked about these rods. Let's get on the water and try them out. All right, we're starting off today for a frog on the old uh, MF -er frog rod. Obviously, look back behind me. It looks looks perfect for a frog. Got some clouds rolling in, kind of sunny, cloudy on and off, but I think hopefully we can get some bites on a frog. But this is probably the rod you guys have seen me throw more than any other rod since, I don't know, I started fishing this series of, of rods because I love fishing a frog, especially on my channel. You guys love the topwater blowups and stuff, so this one gets featured a whole lot and I made a video so I'll kind of keep this one brief but I made a video talking about rod actions and powers and stuff and what I was looking for exactly in a frog rod for those of you that watch that one this will be a little repetitive but basically I want this tip on this rod to shut off immediately with the frog rod I kind of went through tournament fishing for the first like 10 years or so where just thinking you know I need a light tip so I can walk the frog but I want a lot of backbone in the the butt of the rod so I can hoist them out of cover and what happened was I would, I'd catch a lot of the two pounders doing that and three pounders. And of course I'd catch some big fish doing that, but occasionally I'd hook like a five plus pounder in lily pads, thick grass or whatever. And they'd get me in the pads and I couldn't get them out. And the problem was I wasn't getting enough hook penetration from the start. And that's all about this stiff tip on the rod right here. Watch the action of this rod right here. This thing shuts off freaking immediately. There's very little tip. I can still walk my bait fine. It's just something that I think walking your baits all has to do with your cadence and everything. So of course you can't twitch it and walk it as perfectly as you can with a light tip. But to me, that's not important. You want to be able to get as many of those bites to your boat and having this rod that shuts off. And I mean, this thing has so much power through the entire backbone of this rod all the way down to your hands. You don't miss very many of these frogfish. If they bite and they get the hook, they're usually hitting the front deck of your boat. Like I was saying, the biggest thing with this entire rod series is I didn't want one rod to do one thing. I made this rod so you could use it for a wide variety of different applications of these bigger, heavier baits. I've gone as far as throwing like some of my glide baits on this up to two or three ounces, but you've seen me throw all my MS Slammer. It's a great rod for that, a seven inch MS Slammer, um, that 10 inch Nazuma Rat, you know, bigger, lighter wood topwater baits that are a couple ounces. I throw a whopper plopper on this bait. I've punched grass with it and punched mats with it. Although the seven foot seven heavy, we're gonna talk about that here in a little bit. That's more of a specific action that's better for punching. There's a lot of crossover between what this rod and that rod, uh, and even the 7.9 swim bait rod can do. We'll talk about that in a little bit, but this is a very versatile rod that can handle a wide variety of any type of braided line, heavy grass, heavy cover situations.
biggins in here, man. Look how that thing's built. On the old seven foot seven, heavy. Flipping stick. There you go, this is my uh, my new big beaver rod. You guys have been seeing me throw this a whole bunch, but I'm jacked about this rod. As you can see, that's a pretty solid two and a half to, I mean, that's, that's a fat, thick fish. Back over there beside this log and this thing, I mean, Look at the tip on this guy. Freaking, it's got a little bit more tip than the frog rod, and it bends a little bit deeper. It's a little bit slower at rod than the frog rod, but this one can move them, and that's what uh, that's what it's gonna be good for. Heavy flipping, mat punching, stuff like that. This is gonna be a rod where fluorocarbon, 20 pound, 25 pound, bed fishing, whatever, heavy, shallow cover. You can move a lot of line. That's why I made it like 7.7. Seven. Everyone has like a seven six flipping stick. I want to be a little bit different, move a little bit more. An inch makes a big difference. An extra inch in fishing too, with your fishing rod. Seriously though, the difference between a seven seven rod and like a seven four rod when you're flipping something like this, just those like three inches and your entire pivot point all the way through your hook set can be the difference of that hook penetrating and the hook not penetrating. So I want it to be as long as possible. We made it a full grip, so it's got this full tapered grip. This is actually the grip that's also on the Divine series. Casey showed it to me way back when, and I was like, yep, that grip's gonna have to go on several of my series rods too. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a bad, bad rod for moving fish out of heavy cover. And uh, also can double as like uh, with, with braid or even with fluorocarbon, you can throw swim baits, um, like line through swim baits up to three or four ounces. You can throw grass swim baits with this on braid, um, six inch grass swim baits on a weighted, weighted beast hook. Every one of the rods I didn't really talk to you about, it has the keeper right there, which I love for flipping. Obviously you can keep your Texas rig hooked just like that in your boat. Um, I've had a lot of rods where it's on the side and when you're flipping, I know you guys know this, you're flipping, your line catches there or you, you flick it, when you flick your line, when you do like a, a, a bow and arrow or something to get your, your bait unsnagged, it'll catch if it's on the back. So I wanted it to be on the front and not like locked down. So if the line does get wrapped around it, I mean, it just simply pulls right off. But yeah, that's the, uh, this is the flipping stick. I think we might do some damage with it today too. Flipping, flipping the beeve. This thing has freaking power and more. That's not a giant, that's a solid fish, but. Thank you. So as much as you guys see me crank, obviously I needed a crankbait rod in the series. The problem is it's hard to find a crankbait rod that'll do a lot of things. So that was the biggest struggle with this, but after a long time, we really got it dialed in. This is the seven foot two medium heavy, moderate, fast crankbait rod. I've had this one for a while, so it is a little bit marked up, but I've used it so freaking much and caught so many fish. It's based after the seven two um, medium heavy, moderate Lux action that I used and I, I talked to you guys so much about that I loved. Um, obviously this one's a little bit cheaper price point, um, which I mean, I'm, I'm in love with this rod. This is a rod you can pull out of bait like this Crush 50X, it's a, it's a 1.5 size square bill, half ounce bait. Um, and, and it excels at that, except I also wanted something a little bit more versatile. You can throw jerk baits on this in a pinch. It's got a slow tapering parabolic action. This is the slowest rod in the entire series of, of the rods. That slower action plus having it be a graphite rod, it's super sensitive. I can feel what my bait's doing the whole time down so I can deflect it off stumps and stuff like this. Feel when it deflects and a fish picks it up off the stump. Um, or especially, this is like the best rod I've ever used for throwing a lipless crankbait. I know guys love throwing lipless crankbaits in the spring and the fall. It's just a, it's a versatile bait you can throw all year round. And this is the best rod I've ever used for that. It's soft enough that when a fish comes up and absorbs the bait behind it, it'll load up and catch that fish. But it's sensitive enough that you can rip it through grass and not just have it get bogged down like a lot of the big fiberglass rods. Plus it's super light. It's a graphite cranking rod. Graphite's all I crank with. I've thrown a C15 on this, a 15 foot diving bait, C10, um, the curve. It's a great rod for the curve. Another amazing thing about this rod, like I've been talking about the whole time with versatility is 
you can actually throw light Texas rigs and stick worms with this bait. I was just telling you guys about this. A lot of times I'm going out fishing from the bank or in someone else's boat. I want a rod to do a lot of different stuff. I've used this rod constantly fishing some of my drains, roadside stuff, fishing stick worms, and it, it loads up perfect. It's a super light rod. You can still feel the, the sensitivity, and in my opinion, you just don't have that many graphite rods for cranking that you can also throw a stick worm with. This guy you can. Oh, it's like, there it is. <laughs> They're eating square bells too! <laughs> That'd be neat. Oh, I do have one. I was like, that felt like a bite. Square bell on a tree. Pin them right to it. How cool is that? <laughs> You got the Melican fishing rod throwing the Gillikin square bill. It's like freaking magic. The old seven dose. Yeah, we just came out to these. Uh, I mean, obviously this is this is square bill center right here. It's a little deeper than I usually throw a square bill, but I'm gonna need the freaking. He thought the Gillikin was real. We're gonna need the new six cents pliers for that guy. It's like a commercial, I love it. Something awesome about the price point of this rod actually, with this bait right here, the Gillikin crankbait. You can go get this 7.2 medium heavy, moderate fast, this, this crankbait rod in the series, and a Gillikin crankbait, and six cents has a promo right now, that if you spend $120, you get a free one of these. These things are buttery, sexy they even me make me look a little bit more sexy six cents apparel you can even get like a, a buff a neck buff stuff like that really good deal so if you guys are you worried about that you can at least get a free twenty dollar shirt that's badass there's one swim jig hopped up to a grass line the old swim jig. This guy just boiled on it, absolutely crushed it. Super healthy, nice fish. Swim a jig on the wizard. The Zark special. What do you guys want to call this? Comment down below. Zark said the staff, um, because it's a wizard staff, of course. Um, I don't know, the wand. I Tell us what you guys want to see this, this rod affectionately named besides the Zark Special. But this is the seven foot four heavy fast action. Um, once again, this is a rod that shuts off pretty quick. It's got enough tip that you can do this on it right here. Throw the swim jig around this grass. I like a pretty stiff rod for throwing a swim jig because as you can see right here, maybe you can't. It's like two feet deep, really, really thick grass. You need to hit those fish. I hit him and you'll see it on the chest cam probably. He went sideways like 15 feet before I could do anything. So seven foot four, um, it's got enough tip to, to fling this little swim jig around. But if you guys watch the South Dakota video, you will know the Zark is an expert freaking dragger. That's what he's usually doing in the tournaments behind me, either throwing a swim jig behind me when I'm frogging or throwing a square bill or something, or if we're out offshore, he's dragging. He's very meticulous with his swing head, three quarter ounce swing head, half ounce jig, stuff like that. And um, this rod is for that. If you guys want a jig rod, absolutely freaking stellar. We put the full handle on this again since this is a uh, more of a rod tip up presentation balances the rod out a little bit more so very very balanced rod even though it's very very uh, very powerful rod a couple other secondary techniques um, that this rod works really really well for um, not only does it have the versatility for swim jig swing head um, anything you're going to drag really carolina rig but you can throw a buzz bait on this really well as well and even a walking bait or something if you put some braid on it a lot of guys also, I think, are going to really like this rod for throwing like a big shaky head, getting out offshore, throwing something like a, a paddle tail swim swim bait on like half ounce, three quarter ounce head, even a three eighth ounce head. This guy's really going to be a good rod for that. And of course, pitching, flipping and pitching around any tight cover. This rod's going to do a lot of different things. You guys like Texas rigs, jigs, dragon, swim jigs, stuff like that. This rod right here is probably going to be, to be honest, it's going to be the best selling rod in the entire series. This is the most versatile rod in the series, a seven foot medium heavy fast. This is like a very classic 
action on this rod. So it's not gonna be anything that you guys are, are I mean, shocked by, but uh, basically what we did was we, we made it a pretty fast action, pretty fast tip. So you can fish a, a wide variety of different techniques on this bait. This has become like my, my wing ding, my flick shake rod. Um, but I've done so many different things with it. I've thrown swim jigs on it in a pinch. I've thrown little Texas rigs on it. Um, I've drug little finesse jigs. I caught a giant smallmouth fishing in South Dakota, um, a couple on little finesse jigs. Uh, and then I've bed fished with it. I've done a little bit of everything, thrown stick worms, weightless baits. It even can double as a jerk bait rod. If you want something with a little bit more backbone, you're throwing a bigger jerk bait like a, a Magnum, three quarter ounce, one ounce jerk bait. This rod works well for that as well. Um, but yeah, split grip rod, same, same keeper and everything on it. But this one is gonna be the rod that I think if you guys are constantly asking me, I've gotten so many questions. The biggest question I probably get about my rod series is I only have money to go out and buy one rod what one would you advise to go out and get? I would get this one, seven foot, medium heavy, nothing crazy. Um, I had to include this in the rod series because you can do so many different things with it. I think we got this one just right though. So you can feel exactly what's down there when that fish bites, sensitivity, power, everything for from any baits. Sweet spot's probably about three eighths of an ounce, but I've thrown weightless baits that weigh, I mean, an eighth of an ounce by themselves. And I've thrown baits that weigh one ounce with it. This is an excellent, excellent rod. You can even put braid on it for topwater baits. Timmy. He's down there eating little gills. Dirty little cloud eater. Come back through an area with a cloud after you catch a couple on a real bait. Boom. On the old spinning rod. Had to have a spinning rod in the series, guys. You guys know I don't like to spend a lot of time with a spinning rod in my hand when I'm out bass fishing. Of course, they come in very clutch in tournaments when I'm throwing a Nico or something like that. And you can go back through an area like we just did right there. And sometimes you can get a big one that didn't want the basic stuff and wanted something real small. But, as I've talked about with the entire series, made these rods for versatility. I wanted one spinning rod that could do as much as possible. So I came out with this one, six foot 10, medium. Um, it's called a moderate fast. I, I'd say it's pretty close to a fast. Got the tip pretty fast on it, but we have enough backbone that we can throw something like this, a weedless, wacky rig. And that's not a tiny hook. That's, that's, that hook's got a little bit of meat to it. Um, but you can you can drive the hook home like this. But really, guys, I mean, I can do all my bass fishing techniques with this thing. Um, it's got a light enough tip that I can throw a drop shot on it. It's got a light enough tip that I can throw a hair jig uh, or a Ned rig or something like that. Why do I have a fishing line on me? Cole, why is there a fishing line on? Okay, I'm doing better now. <laughs> Anyways, or I can go out and throw a wacky rig, you know, a, a flick shake if I decide to. I usually throw it on a bait caster, but this rod can do it as well. But one big thing for me is I can go out to the creek. I can throw corn for carp on this rod. I've caught like three or four pound carp, just hoisted them up the bank. It's kind of backbone for that. Uh, or I can go to a trout stream and throw a weightless little salmon eggs. It's got enough tip. It's a light enough tip. It's a really, it's a really active tip on this spinning rod. And it makes it very, very sensitive as well. This thing's super light, balances really well. I mean, it's just, it's exactly what I'm looking for in a spinning rod when I need something that's gonna go out and do a bunch of things. So we got so this right here is a rod that i'm freaking jacked about you've seen me throw this rod a whole bunch for my big baits it's the 7.9 extra heavy fast swim bait special and this is going to be a, a rod where you're a lot of the serious swim bait guys aren't going to be able to see it and know exactly what it means it seems like there's so many rods swim bait rods in the swim bait industry where basically the ratings don't mean anything it's all about holding it in your hand this rod right here is actually not what we set out to design. When I first started designing this rod, I wanted something that I could throw A-rigs with, punch with, throw six inch weedless swim baits with. And when we got it, it was great for that. And it had the tip for that. And I was like, all right, I want to max it out and see what this rod can really do. So I tied on a six ounce Hinkle Shad thinking it's going to be overpowered. 
Well, I start firing the Hinkle shot around and it handled it perfectly. I throw my depth slide swimmer 250 on, it handles that really well. And I realized the sweet spot for this rod wasn't really in that two to three ounce range like we thought it was. It's a lot more like three to five ounce range, but it can easily throw that six ounce Hinkle shad just as well. Really, really unique taper to this rod. Um, you guys are probably watching some B-roll of, of the rod tip loading under some pressure. Um, and it looks like not a whole lot's happening under a pound of weight but this actually has a lot of tip on this rod. So that allows me to throw it really, really accurately. I was just telling Cole, a lot of the habitat I throw a big swim bait around here isn't that big, sexy, um, cliffy offshore stuff like you see in the West. It's stuff like this. You got man-made jetties, you make a cast across the front, you make a cast down each side, uh, or a dock. And so you need to have a really accurate cast uh, or down to the lay down or something like that. That's where like all of our swim bait fish are up shallow. And this rod really allows me to throw it really, really accurately. But at the same time, it loads up extremely well despite having that tip. So I can load up, I mean, this is a five, I think slide swimmer's five, five and a half ounces. I can throw this bait as long as I could possibly want it to uh, and more. And this is a rod that, I mean, you've seen me just grind fish to the boat. Um, you can, you can, play the fish if you want to that's not really how i work work my uh, swim bait fish when i get swim bait bites something i learned from a buddy all over big bass dreams is you want to grind those fish to the boat and this rod has all the power to do it and more and speaking of all over i actually let him try this rod out in the swimming pool where we were staying i was like dude make some casts of this you're a swim bait expert i want to get your opinion on it i'm not going to tell you what rod it is how much it costs nothing and he threw it a few times. He's like, wow, that thing has a really good tip. He's skipping his Defiant swim bait across the pool. And then he's, he's letting it load up. We put the, the bigger Defiant swim bait on it. And he's like, wow, you know, it loads up. It's not, it's not the best rod I've ever used for a six to 10 ounce bait, but it throws it just fine. It'll work. It'll definitely work. And he's like, how much are you selling that thing for anyways? And when I told him that this was going to be $108 with my MF10 discount code, he about fell in the damn pool. I wish I would have had the camera running, but uh, this is it. Seven, nine full grip we did the the big tapered long grip on this rod actually it, it balances really well it's it's honestly i'm not just saying this it's like the lightest rod i've ever held that can throw a six ounce swim bait all day long which is huge i know a lot of you guys are, are looking at me throwing the swim baits and stuff and the thing that's held you back is you think that your shoulder your back is going to be broken by the end of the whole day throwing one of these with this rod it's not i'm a huge huge fan of this rod it's one of my favorites if not my favorite in the whole series and um, we decided not to price it a little bit higher, even though there's more materials. Um, it took a lot more time to design this one. We're gonna leave it right at 119, so same price point. Okay guys, just got off the water, caught a couple of fish, threw a bunch of different baits around, caught fish on a bunch of different rods in the MF series. That's what we wanna do. We wanna get out and put a bend in some of these rods, show you guys what type of techniques, what baits and everything work with them if you want to go out and purchase them. Um, like I said, these baits are, they're live right now and they're very limited in quantity. So please head over if you wanna pick one out or pick two out or pick 37 out, I would greatly appreciate that. I really want to thank you guys though so much for the support and the love and everything. This wouldn't be possible without you guys subscribing and watching these videos um, for me to have a series like this. And a huge, huge, huge thank you goes out to Casey uh, and all of Six Sense Fishing for trusting me to put my name on something um, as serious as an entire rod series, um, hundreds of rods in their warehouse right now that you guys are going to go pick up uh, seriously i can't thank you and six cents enough i'm so freaking jacked about these when i set out on the mission to design my rod series i wanted to flat out have rods that are going to make you guys get out and catch more fish these are exactly what i was looking for um, i didn't make them so we can make a bunch of money with them to be completely honest I, I feel like we could price these at 200 or 250 bucks and they they would perform with the materials and the performance well enough to price them that much instead we're leaving them all at 119 we weren't trying to make a bunch of money on these um, we weren't trying to just make them all six six seven foot seven six or whatever to, to sell a bunch more or anything i wanted exact actions powers everything um, so to help you guys catch more fish flat out and that's what i think we accomplished so hopefully this does this for you guys i would love so much if you guys would tag me uh so i know when you guys catch some fish on these mf or series rods so i know those are going to be flying in very very soon and guess what i'm, I'm going to surprise you guys i'm going to give away one of these rods right here i'm going to give away to a lucky mf or drop a comment down below and go hit the subscribe button those two steps um i'd also love if you would share this video to someone that's a fisherman um that way you know they can have an opportunity to see how rods at least function and what rods to, what baits to use with what rod and everything like that 
Um, but one week from today, I'm going to pick a winner, have six cents, send you guys your Millican fishing rod of your choice, one of these seven rods, um, directly to your door. So, like I said, go down, comment, go subscribe. I'm going to use a random comment generator. Make sure you guys are subscribed and uh, pick one of you guys to win one of these rods. But yeah, share this video with one of your fishing friends, and uh, I'm going to catch you guys probably tomorrow or the day after that, because I'm making a whole lot of content right now. I'm having a great time doing it. Um, thank you guys so much again for letting me do what I love to do. But uh, I'll catch you guys very soon.